Hey YouTube, so <laughs> I feel like everyone says it's been so long since like my last video, but it's still been like three years, right? So wanted to um yeah, let's just start this off. Welcome to my channel. Um it's been forever since I've posted on here, but we're gonna uh figure this out this time and try to be consistent. But I wanted to come on here and share with you guys a little bit more about my skincare line i haven't really had time to like sit and do a video like this and edit it in a way that i felt really showcased everything that i had to offer so we are trying this again so my name is samara the owner of the glow guide i'm gonna basically be featuring my by pumpkin mask i don't know if i'm gonna do a voiceover or not yet but i thought it would be a good idea for me to talk about my products as i'm using them on camera so we're gonna start with my sea kelp cleanser Ooh, is that focusing yes it is okay so sea kelp cleanser um i normally use if looks could kale however i've been using this one because it's been a lot warmer out um so <laughs> this has truly been my go-to it has sea kelp as well as sea moss in it as well as ocean water extract so it helps to uh, rejuvenate and balance the skin. So, um, my bottle does not look as nice because it's been through some things. <laughs> a couple uses. Um, I had gotten the wrong stickers, so, or not sticker, stickers, but the wrong label. So it's kind of like coming off a little bit there. But it doesn't matter. still works. So, it's going to be my first step where I even start cleansing. I do have a unit on, so... Let me just secure the perimeter. And I put this on backwards because that bow is doing too much. Well, I probably should have removed this. Oh well. Protect the lace. I feel like I'll, because I am an esthetician, I am worried about the skin underneath my lace and my hair as well, excuse me. Um, that part, like I'll probably... <sighs> my neighbor's got a new dog and they leave that poor guy outside all day and night. Get that all nice and cleansed. And I just don't wanna mess up the whole lace situation, so gonna cover it at first and uh, okay we could do it just like this perfect so I'm going to start with the sea kelp cleanser again this is not my bottle my bottle is messed up my bottle is right here yeah she's a little She's been uh, used. I did go ahead and cover my chair with my <laughs> with my robe because I didn't want to get messy. But I am gonna go and put a little bit of lip gloss on just because I know my lips could can get dry. But just uh, for reference, it's probably late. It's probably like twelve. Um, and I've just been chilling, big chilling in my PJs. So I have brushed my teeth. I'm not nasty. I brush my teeth. Um, and uh, yeah, we're just going to get into this cleansing. As far as cleansers go, I currently retail three cleansers. So I have the Sea Kelp, so perfect for rosacea. Um, or if you just have a little bit of redness throughout. Or you might feel that you're more oily during this time of year, or maybe you're more oily in general. Um, I'm definitely using it because... Um, I'm not as dry as I normally am. I, I definitely have combo skin. I definitely have combination skin. So normally I go between this and this. Um, but we're, we're going to see. After I'm done with um, sea kelp, I may go back to the berry cleanser because my biggest issue is hyperpigmentation. So you know, I'm, I'm a skincare addict. So buggy i'll be switching it up sometimes but that's that's my skin that's how my skin works your skin may not be able to handle 
doing that. So I have these three cleansers. I have the berry cleanser. So this is definitely my uh, antioxidant cleanser. It's great for mature skin types. Um, great if you have um, some hyperpigmentation as well because it does have the licorice root in it. And then I have If Looks Could Kale. So this is more so for my very sensitive but dry clients. And then we have, ooh, is it going to focus? Sea Kelp, my Sea Kelp cleanser. Um, this one is for my sensitive and dry and uh, prone to rosacea. So, sensitive, excuse me, sensitive and oily. So for the Sea Kelp cleanser, this one's mine again. It's a little busted. She's very busted. Um, I like to do, so I do double cleanse, right? And I do like half a pump. So, boop, is enough. And then you can wet your fingers a little bit. And this one, just like if looks could kill, it's very like light, light foaming. I'm just gonna apply this to my face. It is lightly foaming, so slightly more foaming than the If Looks Good Kale cleanser. Um, so it comes up to a bit of a lather. I'm just gonna work that in all over my face. And I'm sure you guys know of the 60 second rule. So I'm going to do that and massage. I'm gonna do up to my neck just because I don't wanna get anything on my nice PJs. Right. Always gotta have your four by four handy, so I'm gonna remove this. Ooh, okay. So now for my rose water toner, and it is infused with rose petals, so that's what's kind of chilling at the bottom of my bottle there. So after I've cleansed twice. I go ahead and tone, so that's pretty much the first part of my routine. So we're just letting this dry off before the next step. We all know the purpose of toner is to balance out the pH, hydrate, and prep it for the next step. Right now the fun part. So this is my new Bi Pumpkin Glycolic Facial Mask. This is the perfect fall mask for hyperpigmentation. I'm adding it onto my new peel series. It's going to be actually one of our newest veggie peels. So kind of an intermediate um, skincare treatment in between like a facial and a chemical peel. But um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that uh, texture shot. Um, yeah. <laughs> now I'm going to go ahead and apply my pumpkin mask. So these little tiny little mask brushes are actually going to be included in every order. Um, that way you'll really have an applicator to use. One thing I really love about the mask is in addition to the glycolic acid, it also has the most bioavailable form of vitamin C, so that's going to be your ascorbic acid, which is vital at helping to rectify hyperpigmentation. Also, I want to get into some of these other ingredients. So it also features cinnamon bark powder, ginger root powder, all spice powder and nutmeg powder so literally feels like a pumpkin spice latte or a pumpkin pie um, on your skin well definitely smells that way anyway um, it is quite spicy because of the glycolic acid excuse me and by spicy I mean if you tried our smoothie mask how it tingles because of the actives that also has glycolic acid but just a higher percentage of it. This one is actually 2% while the smoothie mask I believe is at 10% glycolic acid. 
and I'm actually fanning myself because it, it does, it's very active, so it tingles a lot. Now I'm going to be removing the mask, and I'm just using some sponges. I just wet them so they're quite damp, and I'm just going to go ahead and remove all the product off my skin. Alright, so we finished removing the Bi Pumpkin Glycolic Mask. And here I'm just taking some pictures. Um, as you can tell, I'm loving the results so far. And now I'm going to go ahead and tone, which is prep for everything at the end of my routine. This, oh my god, guys, the serum. So bomb. So I've been wanting to do some CBD products. This is just everything I need in a serum. I've been wanting to work with CBD for some time. It's perfect for acne as well as um, soothing the skin. If you are anywhere as dry as I am, you definitely need this moisturizer. So this is formulated with blueberries, raspberries, cranberries, as well as glycolic acid. Um, yeah, I use this one every night, as well as in the morning if I need a little bit more hydration underneath my sunscreen, which I'm gonna go apply now. So that's my Black Girl sunscreen. I also retail this as well. I think everyone's favorite uh, thing about this particular sunscreen is that it just blends seamlessly into the skin. Um, in addition to that, I love how hydrating it is as well. Alright guys, so that is my daily skincare routine. My nightcare routine is pretty much the same, except I don't mask every day, uh, especially that mask, because it's an exfoliating mask. <laughs> um, but um, yeah, I won't do that, or I won't put sunscreen on in the nighttime for obvious reasons, right? So. Now that concludes the end of my morning skincare routine. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope to do a lot more videos like this. Let's hope I can stay consistent with making content. Um, so I'm just going to do a little slow-mo of me, um, kind of looking at my skin after the facial. You guys can see what my um, areas of focus are, and those are definitely going to be the blemishes on the side of my face. And I think I look really good, huh?